Hey there, everybody. Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. It is late at night on the second night of Google I.O. here in San Francisco. And we just got back from LG's little shindig and managed to get ourselves an Optimus 3D. So we're not going to unbox it, but uh, the box it came in is actually bright and red and kind of shiny. So thought we'd show you that. So here it is. Uh, we kind of have LG's stock UI. Uh, that they've been putting on Android, and I like it actually, it's not bad. It kind of looks like Samsung's a little bit, uh, and you know, almost with a few Sense elements thrown in, you know, Sense has a, a favorite contacts widget just like that. Um, but, you know, all in all, pretty uh, pretty vanilla. Your buttons are all skinned though. Let's take a look at the uh, launcher dock here, pinch to collapse all categories. So this is one of my favorite things that LG does with its launcher actually, is it puts apps in categories. And the big thing about the Optimus 3D, of course, is that it has 3D applications. And it will take, thanks to the two cameras on the back, 3D photos and video. So uh, we'll look at that more in depth later when I'm not in a hotel room at midnight. But uh, so your applications, where did that go? Your applications are actually uh, categorized. So if you pinch and zoom, it will uh, collapse them, which is kind of cool. How we open them back up. There we go. Um, so let's actually look at some of these 3D apps. Why not while we're here? So they put some games on it by default, and these are 3D games. It's not going to turn out very good, I think, in the uh, video here. So attention, take a break if your eyes become tired or if you feel dizzy while using the 3D feature. And the 3D screen has already kicked on here. Here we have the 3D gallery, and they already have some uh, videos on here for us to watch. And here's a picture I took at the event. And, you know, to me it looks 3D. It might not to you guys at home. Um, and it's still kind of a novelty, but it's not horrible. Uh, let's see if we can fire up a video here. What do we want to see? Coral something or other. The video itself is actually pretty smooth. Uh, the 3D doesn't seem to affect that. And so the coral right here is kind of popping out at me a little bit. So nothing like extends from the screen, right? It's not holographic, but you do get some good depth in it. And it's actually pretty watchable. Uh, I was pretty surprised back in Mobile World Congress and it doesn't look any worse today. And LG, you know, they give us a really long technical explanation for it tonight. Um, and they really have put a lot of thought into this. So let's see. Something with people. So motion is not a problem. That's cool. Uh, let's see what else we can find in here. Uh, let's see if we can get asphalt going without too much trouble. Come on. You can do it. Don't make me download anything. Don't do it. Better not do it. Some things never change, huh? 3D or not. All right, that's going to take too long. We will uh, take a deeper, deeper look at the 3D stuff later, I promise. Um, but you will be able to actually shoot video and take your own pictures. Come on, little camera app. Again, this is not final software, so this is developer to build. Uh, so don't be surprised when things go a little haywire right now. So right now, when you fire up the camera, you have options, right? Right now it's on the 3D setting, we can change it back to 2D. And now it looks more like a normal camera. Flip it back. And everything goes a little three-dimensional on me, which looks a little weird here. I don't think you'll be able to see it too well in the video. So, I mean, it's a novelty, but it's not horrible. Um, I'm going to see what some other people think. I'm going to see what my family thinks, my wife and kid, see if it bothers them that much. Uh, what else do we have on the phone? There's a Twitter app on there by default, Smart Share, Player's Office. We've seen that before. LG World, Finance App, Facebook, Twitter, the browser, all that usual stuff. Uh, the phone itself, so we looked at it very briefly. So you have two 5 megapixel cameras on the back. Uh, they're stereoscopic, 3D stereoscopic here. It's engraved on the back. That's cool. Uh, up top you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the power button and a little uh, noise canceling mic. On the right hand side you have a 3D button. Now this is something we saw, again we've seen this before, this is not new. But if you push the 3D button, it will take you to a 3D gallery and it cuts back into 3D again. Yes, you can turn on location. Uh, hey, look at that. It asks 
if it wants to know uh, where you are. So we have 3D games, 3D camera, 3D gallery, 3D YouTube, and that is special so when you take video you can actually upload them directly to YouTube in 3D. 3D guide, 3D games and apps, and you see everything kind of comes flying out at you. And back to the camera. So again, that's from the uh, 3D button here on the side. We'll take you directly to that, and that's actually a really nice touch. Uh, on the other bezel here, you have an HDMI out port and your micro USB. Uh, the phone will actually work in tandem with an LG TV. Uh, so LG has 3D TVs, so you can uh, rock that all together if you want. Now if we pry open the battery cover here, something you might be a little surprised to see, there is my old venerable uh, AT&T 3G SIM card, because in fact, and this is quite some HSPA. How about that? So I'm getting a AT&T 3G on here. Very, very cool. Excuse me one second while I uh, attempt to half-heartedly hide my uh, phone number. Um, what else? As long as we're looking at stuff in the about screen. Android 2.2.2, so not gingerbread. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how long it takes to upgrade a phone like this because this thing, the system dump in this thing is like half a gigabyte. It's huge. So there's a lot going on and uh, have to see how long it takes to upgrade it. So hopefully not forever. All right, guys, we're going to take a much, much deeper look at the Optimus 3D when I'm not stuck in a hotel room. But there you go, a quick first look, and we will see you all later.